All right, so today we are comparing a sprayer backpack to a tent keg. And the reason we're doing this comparison is because this is how I feel most people are gonna shop. They're gonna see one or the other, and yes, somebody made a backpack sprayer for window tinting. This is called the Tint Buster. You can find them at sundistributingdirect.com, same place that you can also find the tint kegs. And these things are pretty freaking cool. And we're gonna dive through it, but y'all know my three gallon keg setup, I've been using this for a very long time. Holds a lot of water, good quality sprayers and all that. This is an ideal sprayer. If you're just going through a lot of cars in the day, you put this by a tire, you have enough hose to get around the car. You can do a lot of work with this. So how does this then fit in if we're already using a keg sprayer? Well, this is portability at its finest. So if you've ever gotten annoyed with tripping over hoses or dragging a keg around, this is what is gonna fit the bill for you. Let me kind of break down how this works. So in the front here, we have a, a battery pack. And so this is what powers everything. Um, it's got really good battery life. I can close this up. Battery life is gonna depend on how much sprayer that you're using, but I'm told at least a week if you're using it pretty much every day. You have a really beefy pump right here. Um, so that's what, where you get your spray from. And then if we open up the back, you have your water source. So this is the bladder. This holds up to 96 ounces right here or three liters. I'm told to, if you're using this for auto, leave it at about the 64 to 72 mark. It'll save you a little weight and it won't put as much pressure, like, cause if you have it filled up, it'll take up some more space. So that's usually a good sweet spot to keep it. Um, the nice thing is that it ships with two bladders. So the creator of this knows that some people go, especially me, go through some extra water. So that's where you get through about half a car, you're gonna wanna swap out the bladder. I should mention too, the, the bladders are pretty freaking cool because they have this quick disconnect right here. So everything is pretty simple. You push on this, this pops out. And then, um, you know, if this is empty, you fill it back up, swap it out with your extra bladder, pop this back in here, click, and then drop it back in um, the rear pocket on here where there's a little bit of extra foam, kind of where you would have a laptop actually. That's where you wanna put that bladder. Close this back up. And then as far as fit and everything, let's go ahead and throw this thing on. Just like a backpack. We're going back to tent school, man. So there's a lot of thought that is put into it. This isn't just a backpack with a sprayer attached to it. There's a lot of customizing that went into this to make it ideal for window tinting and just having the whole sprayer set up. So if you wanna feel a little bit more like a nerd, but it's better for you, you're gonna to wanna to put on both clips. So that's the bottom and the top one. The top one um, is gonna help with your shoulders here. And the bottom one actually helps take a little bit of pressure off when you tighten this up too. But when you do that, it holds this in pretty tightly. Like if you want to tighten it up, this part is going to start to feel a little bit warm. So come summertime, that's where I think this is probably going to be the most annoying, putting some extra weight on. You're dealing with 100 plus degree garages sometimes, depending on where you're tinting. So that's like probably one big downside to it. But what's really freaking cool is I have, hang on, it's cut. I have just, a completely portable sprayer. So I can leave this right here on my tool belt. I can run around the car. I'm not tripping over anything. And then anytime I need my sprayer, I have it right there at my side. This might be off. Let me turn that back on. Oh yeah, little power button there. Pretty clever, huh? Yeah, you got real, real good spray here. So you can leave that there. More water, not as much water, more portable, not quite as portable. Because if I want to drag this around a car, I got to take this, I got to put this, I usually put it near one of the tires, either the front or the rear one, depending on kind of where I'm working. Unhook uh, this right here. And then I can, you know, once it's untangled, I can run around the car. And I've been doing this for years now. I really like my kegs. What's nice about this, obviously, like I said, you're already detached from any of that. The only cable, minus your stools, 
the only things that you have to really worry about are, again, an extension cord, rather, you know, just one thing rather than two um, hoses and stuff laying on the floor. So as far as an automotive sprayer, I think it has its place. It's not gonna be ideal for everybody. Some people are gonna like a backpack sprayer. Some people are gonna like to use their tank kegs. Now that I have a nice, pretty station, I'm still gonna default to using my kegs most of the time. There's occasionally, like if I had a set of doors and I was over there, which is not completely uncommon, then I have to move my keg setup over there and that's just annoying when I could just throw this on. Back when I was mobile tinning, this would be great for just jumping in just between bays and then I don't really have to worry about, again, literally, you take your sprayer, take your keg, <laughs> drag it around, go where you need to. So if that's annoying to you, something along the backpack is gonna be a little bit more convenient for you. One other thing, because we all have our heads pretty deep into automotive, one other thing to consider though, is if we go up front, Let's say we're doing house windows. One thing that we always have to worry about is our hose. So you will kind of want to coil this up, keep it near. You don't necessarily just want to drop it on somebody's floor, drag it around. You have a lot of water at your disposal, which is really nice. With this thing, I now have two hands free to pick up film, pick up tools, run around from window to window, bust in tent, and I didn't even have to, you know, move anything on the floor where each every window I gotta move that keg around. So I think as far as pure mobility goes, there's nothing out there that quite fits the bill on this. You have your trigger sprayers, you have your little pump bottles, and those are good, but you know, with a pump bottle, you always kinda have to set down somewhere. This is cool, again, cause you can just literally walk around with it and you don't have to think about your sprayers. Just like when you have a good tool belt, you don't have to really think about where your tools are. You have them all on hand when you need them. So to have water on hand too is kind of just a really different thing and it's really cool when you get used to it. One other thing too that I like to mention is, so let's say you're inside of a car working on a windshield and you have this on as a backpack. If you just go sit on the seat, this was made by a tinter, so he thought of this. So when you sit on the seat and you kind of sit back against it, you are putting a little pressure on that and it does take up some space. It's safe to do, but it's not necessarily ideal. So what he does recommend is in that case, when you wanna do a windshield, keep your bladder a little bit more empty if you wanna keep it on the whole time, or you can leave it on one seat and still use the other side. So you can kind of use this as a nice portable sprayer. You don't always have to think about it as something that you're gonna throw on your back and just, you always have to have it on your back. You could set it on a tool, you could set it on a stand. This can kind of go with you. So a good example was doing like paint protection film. And um, he's got a stool and he just throws this on the bottom of it. And that way, you know, when you're hunched over doing paint protection film, this isn't always on your back and you still have your sprayer exactly where you need to. And you can roll around with it. All in all, I think it's a really cool spray option. It's just not quite the same as using a tint keg. So as far as comparing one to the other, it's a little bit of apples and oranges. You really gotta figure out what is my ideal setup? Do I want something that's very mobile or do I want something that's kind of mobile, more stationary, but can still get through most of a day? <laughs> so the makers of tint keg, if you're interested, Sun Distributing, they have these in a lot of different configurations, but they also picked up the Tint Buster too. So if you wanna pick up a Tint Buster or a Tint Keg, you can go over to Sun Distributing um, and check out either one of those. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.